Hello, my name is Maureen Perry and I'm an education specialist at the Coachella Valley Water District. We have put together a series of videos that will bring you a lot of information about several of our facilities throughout the district, facilities that normally the public is not allowed to enter or to see. So we hope you appreciate this new series. And remember, your water is our promise. I'm Glenn Luby, Domestic Water Engineer for Coachella Valley Water District, and today we're at one of CVWD's uh, domestic water production well sites. CVWD has approximately 100 of these sites scattered throughout the valley. Uh, you've probably driven past these countless times and not even noticed they're here. You may have noticed a, a building, a, a wall, or maybe some above ground piping, but where our water comes from is hundreds of feet below the ground. And so today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, where this water comes from. This well is approximately 1,300 feet deep and the key components are the well screen, as you can see an example of here, gravel pack that surrounds the well casing, and then you have the natural formation, the natural ground uh, that, that this well is drilled into. So the water is in a below ground aquifer and it travels through the formation into the gravel pack and then through these slots in the well casing into the well. And then once it's inside the well casing, the vertical turbine pump, pump brings that water up to the surface where it comes into our distribution system. As the well is being drilled, soil samples are taken approximately every 10 feet. We encounter different soil types, including sands, gravel, clay. We're looking for sandy portions that produce water more efficiently into the well and avoid clay sections where water does not flow efficiently. Once the well is constructed, we test pump the well to determine the operation parameters of the well, determine how much water we can efficiently produce from the well, and then we, we size our, our permanent pump equipment accordingly. Once the well is fully constructed and approved for operation into our distribution system, uh, the water will be called to turn on based on reservoir water levels uh, for the reproduction zone it's in. The well initially pumps to, to the blow off for a few minutes just to remove any fine material that may be in the water, which is common upon startup. After a few minutes of pumping to the blow off, water will then go into our distribution system. On the manifold, you can see our flow meter here so we can measure how much water is being produced by this well. This is where the chlorine solution is injected into the, the water produced to maintain the appropriate chlorine residual. And then it goes down below ground into our distribution pipeline. 